Part 1. Organization. A paragraph is a group of related sentences about a single topic. The topic of a paragraph is one and only one idea. A paragraph has three main parts. The topic sentence, the supporting sentences, and the concluding sentence. Let's take a look at the topic sentence. The first sentence in a paragraph is a sentence that names the topic and tells what the paragraph will explain about the topic. This sentence is called the topic sentence. The middle sentences in a paragraph are called the supporting sentences. Supporting sentences give examples or other details about the topic. The last sentence in a paragraph is called the concluding sentence. A concluding sentence often repeats the topic sentence in different words or summarizes the main points. A paragraph is like a cheeseburger sandwich. Topic and sentence, the upper piece of bread. Supporting sentences are the inner filling, and the concluding sentence is the lower piece of the bread. Let's take a look at this delicious picture. At the top, the upper piece of the bread is the topic sentence. The inner filling is the supporting sentences, and the concluding sentence is the lower piece of bread. Each paragraph that you write for this class should also have a title. A title tells the topic of the paragraph in a few words. A title is short. It is not a complete sentence. It may be just one word. Here are some examples of titles. My classmate. Friendship. A famous soccer player. Paragraph 1. Let's take a look at a paragraph about Miss Robinson, which is the title. This is an example of three parts of a paragraph the topic sentence, which is sentence 1, the supporting sentences, which are sentence 2 through 10, and the concluding sentence, which is sentence 11. Let's start with the topic sentence, sentence number 1. My first grade teacher was an important person in my life. Her name was Miss Robinson. In the schools in my country, children usually learn to print before they learn to write. Miss Robinson didn't believe in printing. She thought it was a waste of time. She taught us to write in cursive script, like handwriting from the first day. At first it was hard. She made us practice a lot. I remember filling entire pages just with capital O's. At the end of the year, we felt very grown up because we could write in cursive. Sentence 2 through sentence 10 are the supporting sentences. And the concluding sentence is sentence 11. Miss Robinson was important in my life because she taught me a valuable lesson. I can achieve anything by working hard. 